Welcome back guys, Captain Stancom here, and today I want to look at a scene from the Foundling episode from Mandalorian Season 3 and talk about how that ties into Lego with some of the Order 66 scenes that we saw there. And before we get into that though, I'm just going to ask that you please subscribe to this channel. I've been making content for about a year now and we're punching towards a thousand subscribers, so if you like what you see in this video, check out some of my other videos as well as, as I said, I'd love a subscription from you, possibly a like. And with that being said, let's jump into today's video. And the scene that I really want to focus on is when Keller and Beck and Grogu are fleeing the Jedi Temple and being chased by an LATI gunship. And if you notice, the pilot in that ship is a standard shock trooper. And that's really interesting because pilots generally are different from the standard infantrymen and their helmets, as well as the markings on their helmets, are generally different. And for the Coruscant Guard itself, we can see a difference in the pilot for one of these LATIs in the Jedi Who Knew Too Much episode from the Clone Wars. And if you see when Ahsoka is being chased by the Coruscant Guard, the clone trooper pilots that are piloting those gunships are very distinct, and they're not just your standard shock troopers. So it's interesting that in The Mandalorian, they reverted these shock troopers to just your standard Phase Two shock trooper and not any special pilot. And that does make sense with The Mandalorian that they're going to cut a little bit down. But with Dave Filoni being the producer, I thought that they would go a little bit more of the accurate route of having a different pilot. However, the funny thing is, is that now Lego has every ability in the world to call one of the shock troopers that come in this gunship coming out this summer as a clone pilot. I know with the Republic gunship UCS set that came out a couple years ago, there was a lot of controversy about the pilot or commander from that set. And even though Lego was striving for excellence with that set, they clearly messed up the minifigure. Well, now they have a very good excuse to have just a standard shock trooper as a pilot because in The Mandalorian, there is just a standard pilot and not some sort of specialist who should actually be the pilot of that set. So that's just something funny that I noticed from that scene. And also, I'm really excited for the gunship because this is going to be a really good tie-in for the Clone Wars and really be able to split the baby with this set where you have the... Clone Wars fans being very happy to see a gunship from the Coruscant Guard. You'll get a Phase 2 Fox, as well as a couple of characters we haven't seen in a while, Chancellor Palpatine and Padme Amidala. And then at the same time, people that watched the Mandalorian show are able to see Shock Troopers and the gunship that did appear in that set, although it doesn't come with Keller and Beck or Grogu. Although we get Grogu in enough sets, that's fine. It would be really cool at some point to get Keller and Beck and Lego. I'd be really excited about that. So anyway, that is just something that I saw there with this set. I'm obviously really excited for the gunship coming out this summer. And I'd love to hear your thoughts about this Mandalorian episode, the Foundling, and the Order 66 scenes. I've already made another video about that, talking about the different clone troopers that you see in the background, particularly the Phase 2 white clone troopers. And if you want to check out that video, I'll provide a link in the description. But with that being said, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I'm really working, as I said at the beginning of this video, towards a thousand subscribers. I'd love you to be one of them. So be sure to subscribe, leave a like, check out some of my other content. And until next time, this is Captain Stancom signing out.